Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a favorites video. I know a lot of people do monthly favorites videos, but I don't acquire enough new like loves each month. Like it's more of like a huge process. So I decided I'm going to do recent favorites or like collective favorites. So this is one of those videos. So this is going to be a combination of fashion, makeup, skincare, and I think like two random things. Yeah. Do I have any fur on me? This shirt always requires fur. I don't know why. Okay. So let's start off with skincare. How about we start with skincare? A few of my recent skincare favorites have been definitely this. This is one of the face washes that works best for my acne. This is the Murad Anti-Aging Time Release Acne Cleanser. This works really nicely for me. Salicylic acid doesn't usually do much for my skin, but this one, that's the main fighting ingredient, and this is really good for my skin. So I have oily, hormonal, I don't know, basic teen acne, I guess, but good. It's dripping all over me because it was in my shower, <laughs> but this is definitely a great product for my skin. The next skincare product I want to talk about is this. My mom went to Texas because my sister goes to school in Texas, and she visited her and went to this like thing, I don't know, and she picked up this for me. And she's like, I thought you would like it, and it's a lava clay mask, and it says, it's for, like, blackheads, and it, like, softens your skin. And it has Moroccan Atlas Mountain Mineral Rich Lava Formed Rassel Clay, whatever that means. But it's worked really great for my skin. It's by the brand Nash & Jones. I wanted to make sure it was a brand that you guys could order from before I told you about it, because if it was just from, like, a boutique, then I didn't want to recommend it because you guys can't get it. But it's been working really, really nicely for my skin. It, like, makes my skin just look much better after I use it like smoother clearer it's just it works really nicely and it's really affordable so yeah recommend and it has a cute like glass bottle like this is ASMR it's not plastic oh I still have the price tag on there because I'm classy you get the idea next skincare thing I want to touch on I got this I think a month and a half ago and then I love Olivia Jade if you don't watch Olivia Jade I love Olivia Jade she talked about this on her channel and I was like you're right girl it's amazing it's the Kiehl's creamy eye treatment from Kiehl's I already said that. I meant to say I meant to say it's the Kiehl's creamy eye treatment with avocado and it looks like this it's really really thick but it's so hydrating and it's you only need a little bit it's $30 for the small thing and it's gonna last like two years and it's amazing. I don't even know if you're supposed to keep eye creams for two years, but it's amazing. It hydrates. It makes my eyes look so much better, like drastically improves them from what they looked like before. I don't know why. I don't know how, but they look, my concealer goes on much nicer. 10 out of 10. Next thing I got off Amazon because I wanted to try it. It's the Kate Blanc Certified Organic Rose Hip Seed Oil, and it's amazing. I use it every night as my moisturizer, and it has helped fade some of my acne scars, and that's what it's known for for skin but it's super affordable uh, yeah I got this for 25 I think which I think is pretty good because it's like a moisturizer so I love it this is the bigger bottle still not very big but it's the bigger bottle and I have the smaller one as well because I got that one first it smells good it smells like rose hip but it's really great so if you're looking for a good moisturizer for oily acne prone skin that won't break you out that's an oil because I think a lot of people are scared of oils when they have oily skin um, but it's great so if that's you, then go ahead and pick this up. Order it on Amazon. Okay, I think that's all for skincare. Now I want to move on to the two random things before we go into fashion and makeup. So this is the Kristen S. Style Reviving Dry Shampoo. And I got this at Target because I saw like an ad, like she was doing an ad on YouTube, you know when they pop up. She said that her whole idea for her brand was high quality hair care, but at a good price. So she could sell it at drugstores and stuff. So I saw her brand and I had never heard of her before. So I was like, I need a dry shampoo. So I got this one and it's been working really, really nicely for me. My hair gets oily so fast. I have to wash my hair like every other day and that is not very convenient. So I use this in place, not in place of shampoo, but like if it's the second day and I need to wash my hair, but I want to go out and I don't want to wash my hair, <laughs> then I use this and it's really great. It absorbs oils. It makes it look better. It makes it smell really nice because it smells like shampoo. It's great. It works really well for me. The random thing is this lotion is my saving grace. This is the Amlactin Ultra Smoothing, whatever, uh, intensity, hydrating, whatever. It's basically a lotion. It is a lotion. But it's 
so good. This brought my hands out of their dry stage, dry spell, dry spell, that's what I was looking for. My hands were dry for so long because I was looking for a good lotion, and then my mom picked up this, and she's like, hey, didn't know if you'd like it, and I used it, and I was like, oh, this is a game changer. This is a game changer. It moisturizes so well. My hands haven't seen a cracked day in years. My hands are, they get super, it's weird because my skin's pretty combination, but my hands and my cuticles, they get so dry at like every point of the year, not just winter, they're like always dry. So this is amazing, highly, highly recommend. Also got it on Amazon because I don't know where they sell it in stores. I just want to get out of the way the makeup items. So I picked this up the other day and you've probably heard of it, used it, seen it. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer and I've never used a lash primer before. Actually, I just lied. I used one and it was my sister's and I was like, this is amazing. So that prompted me to get this. So this is the L'Oreal one. It looks like this. I think all primers are white, but yeah, it's like white. Um, I have it on right now, but I did my mascara like hours and hours ago, so don't judge my lashes right now. Calm down, it's okay. But um, it's a base, I guess, but it makes your lashes like thicker. It it just like really intensifies the effects of all your of your mascara. So it's really great. I think it's eight dollars. I don't know if I've never seen a high end brand do a primer, but I might just be ignorant. Like they might. There might be like plenty out there, but I've never seen a high-end one, so this one is a-okay. Next thing, you've definitely seen me talk about on my channel. I haven't raved about it, but I've used it in a lot of my make old makeup tutorials, but I cannot talk about this. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte, Maybelline Matte Fit Me Foundation, Matte and Poreless, whatever, and it's for normal to oily skin, and it's so good. I use this over all of my high-end foundations, over all of my high-end concealers. Like, it is so good. It makes your skin just like, it, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, I had such a hard time finding foundation that didn't emphasize my acne, that didn't make my skin look flaky and dry, but that didn't make me look too oily. And this does it all. It doesn't make you look way too dry or matte. It makes you look like dewy, but in a matte way. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's so good like it is so good and here is the big punch it's five dollars i love it like love it so definitely 10 out of 10 recommend now we're gonna move on to fashion for fashion i only have three items just because they're what i've been loving lately whatever main idea is jackets so all three of them are different types of jackets <laughs> but okay so this first one is a hoodie and it's from Zara, and it's just a yellow hoodie, has the basic, like, metal little rings here. But it is, you don't care about that. It's so comfy, and I love the color. Like, I've been loving yellow. I've bought, like, five, five yellow pieces in the past two months. I love it, and I love how it looks on, like, every skin tone. It's just, like, such a fun pop of color. And so this sweatshirt, I got in, I got this in London. Yes, I got this in London at the Zara in London, and I wore it all the trip, and it's just my best friend right now. Okay, next piece is this, and I got this actually two, no, a week ago, two days ago, a week ago. Um, this is from Forever 21, the men's section, but this is, it's just another sweatshirt, but it's black, and it's basically just a big sweatshirt with no thing on it, but then the back is this giant stained glass window, if you can see that. It's... I think it's so cool. Like, I, I love it. We're moving on. My last video, I said there was this jacket that I saw, and I was like, do I need it? And then I went home, and I was like, you know what? I need the jacket, so I'm going to go buy it back and buy it. This is the jacket. It's from Zara. It was kind of pricey. It was 70 which, I don't know, for a good jacket, I don't think that's that bad. But it's like this denim, like this black denim jacket, and it has like this fringe on it, but like it's like has like metal embellishments on it cowboy vibes but like not really and it's just yeah oh it's from the spring the new spring summer collection I guess and then the back is the same way like it's like and then the collar like are you kidding me and then look at even the sleeves are cool like are you kidding me I am obsessed with it but this is just a this is my first favorites video I really like doing favorites because I love watching favorites because I love seeing what people are into at the moment and seeing if I want to try them and if I need them. So yeah, I really hope this video was enjoyable and that you got something out of it. If you didn't, what are you gonna do about it? But 
If you like this video and if you like me, my name is Bella. This is my YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe if you want. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope I see you soon. And yeah, that's about it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.